Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Rockstar's plans for GTA 6 and specifically their plans to upgrade GTA 6 over time with new content. Now, one of the headline features of GTA 6 is expected to be a very robust upgradability system where Rockstar is able to add new maps, new missions, and overall just upgrade the game over time with the goal of hopefully keeping GTA 6 around for as long as possible. And according to one of the recent leaks that we have seen, it seems like that Rockstar is targeting a two decade period for GTA 6. So that means that Rockstar is allegedly planning to upgrade GTA 6 for a period of 20 years. So today we're going to be discussing how that's going to work and what type of content Rockstar could possibly be planning and pretty much all of the details you need to know about this new addition to GTA 6. Now before we get into that, make sure you like rating on this video to share support as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day and wrap out to the actual video. Now today's shout out goes to a really awesome website known as Wholesale Sneakers List. Now selling sneakers can be a very profitable business venture, however the most difficult part is finding authentic sneakers at a good price that you can sell for a profit. Now Wholesale Sneakers List is your one stop shop for everything you need in terms of selling sneakers and they offer brands like Jordans, Lebrons, Kobe's, Air Maxes, Yeezys, Air Force Ones, and everything in between for as low as just $20 per pair. So whether you're looking to get into selling sneakers or if you already are and want to boost your profits, I highly recommend that you click the first link in the description down below to check out wholesalesneakerslist.com and see their incredible selection of sneakers today. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now every single game that Rockstar releases usually has a handful of headline features that make the game unique and a step forward from their previous release. For example, in GTA 5, Rockstar introduced the three character switch system for the single player story where you can switch between Michael, Trevor, and Franklin. Now, according to many rumors that we have heard recently, one of the main headline features of GTA 6 is going to be the ability for Rockstar to upgrade the game easily over time. Now, this means adding new maps, new locations, new missions, maybe even live open world events like we've seen in Fortnite before, and just really making the game something they can expand on a ton easier. Now with GTA 5, Rockstar was never expecting GTA 5 Online to become as popular and successful as it is today, and therefore they didn't really build the systems into the game to allow it to be upgraded easily. Now thankfully, Rockstar was able to engineer some very clever solutions over the years, and they have been able to release some really cool updates, but I'd imagine that they have been quite limited due to the underlying code being outdated and not able to be upgraded easily. Now with GTA 6, upgradability is allegedly going to be a big focus, so over the years, Rockstar Games is targeting to add new locations into GTA 6, both to single player and online, and just overall really expanding the world, and hopefully one day turning it into Project Americas, where you have multiple states and many different cities in one single game that you can jump in between. Now, according to a statement from an anonymous source that has been circulating around the community for the past couple of days, Rockstar Games is allegedly targeting GTA 6 to last two decades, which of course is 20 years. Now, GTA 5 came out in 2013, and GTA 6 is allegedly going to be releasing either in 2023 or 2024, so that means that GTA 5 has lasted a decade, and with GTA 6, Rockstar is allegedly looking to double that. 
Now, the main reason why they're likely going to be able to do this is because they're going to be able to upgrade the game over time, so releasing a new GTA game and GTA 7 is not really going to be needed because they can simply upgrade GTA 6 with new content and kind of do what Fortnite does, where they're able to constantly release new updates and new content without actually releasing a brand new game. I feel like this is the future of video games where you have one main game that upgrades over time, and it seems like GTA 6 is going to be the first step that Rockstar is taking towards this new direction. Now it's worth noting that according to multiple sources, Rockstar is allegedly planning to upgrade both single player and online, so unlike GTA 5 that didn't receive any single player DLC, and Rockstar is allegedly going to be going back to their roots with GTA 6 and releasing new DLC content and expansions both for single player and online. Now some rumors have suggested that originally Rockstar was planning to include multiple locations at launch with GTA 6, but now they're only going to include Vice City as the main location, and then they're going to be adding more, including Liberty City and others, at a later date. But let me know in those comments down below what you think about this. Do you think that Rockstar is making the right decision to upgrade GTA 6 over time? And also, do you think that GTA 6 will be able to last two decades with only expansions? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on latest news surrounding GTA 6 and the GTA series in general, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with bell notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome night, I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.